The big dude who do all the, Oh, ja Day? Big Ja. No, the dude who used to play football, professional football. Oh, Spice Adams. Spice Tom, Adams. Oh, Spice Adams. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering who the fuck Spice Adams. Bruh, I swear was, to God. He's a bear, right? Okay. I swear to you, literally Sunday, I'm washing dishes. I said, who the fuck is Spice Adams? <laughs> <laughs> that, came mind, that came into my mind, bro. I said, why? What? Why? Why? I was just like, I, I was just like, I hear the, the name. Spice was open. Yes. <laughs> I Hold me down, I get it. Hate that I keep winning. Stab my back, is tempting. What's up, everybody? Appreciate you tuning in to Fuck Your Feelings Podcast, the greatest podcast that's ever existed. Make sure y'all hit that like, follow, subscribe button, whatever you tuned in to podcast. Hey, man, let's get into it. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Fuck Your Feelings. Uh, I just cut Keetra off because she was. <laughs> 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 like Keith ain't talking about shit. What the fuck you talking about over there? Uh, welcome to Fuck Your Feelings, the greatest podcast that ever exists. Damn uh, right. Damn right. Hey, shout out to DC. Man, me and DC go way All of us go way back. Man. Like years. What year you moved out here, Brandon? 2010. 2010. Yeah. We got out here 07. 07. Damn, when you got out here, Keith? Same. 2009. 2009. Uh, um, yeah, man, we got Brandon Brody, we got Keith Long, we got DC Irvin. Hey. Uh, man, these are some of my day ones when it comes to fucking the stand-up comedy game, for sure, for sure. Started this goddamn podcast, man. I was like, you know, too much empathy. Too much empathy is the death of comedy, man. So I was like, fuck y'all niggas feelings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm finna say what the fuck I feel like saying. Yeah. Freedom of speech. Hey, freedom of speech. That's why the uh, symbol is the American Eagles in the back. Hey. Um... Oh, and shit. I didn't even know that. And I, I knew it's freedom of speech for this oh, bitch. Yeah, you a hey, Eagles, yeah. um, Eagles remind me of racist white men, so you might want to get something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a black power fist or something, but like Eagles, woo! This is America, but, but that's my urban, my urban legends is like a black thing. So my urban legends is like the African diaspora. So I use the uh, the black, I mean the black, green, and uh, red uh, color. So you say you read out a, a black shit. Just gotta tilt it on up to this is my white shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. yeah. Freedom, God damn it. But this also freedom of speech type shit. That's what the colors and all that shit is like. Fuck your feelings because that ain't that the fucking first uh what is it called? Amendment. Amendment. First Amendment, Amendment is freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Yeah. You can say what you want to say. You know, and then people be quick to say, Well, you can say whatever you want to say, but uh then we'll fucking we'll come after you. You know. <laughs> so I'm like, man, fuck all that shit, man. So yeah, we here, man. Hey, man, we had a crazy night last night. Keisha asked, <laughs> Ke and this is just a conversation. So if y'all jump, wait, in, wait, where was y'all at? Rooftop comedy. Rooftop. Okay. Sunset rooftop. Rooftop. The sunset rooftop. Is that Cameron Tory? Ah, uh, I think I know where that is. Yeah. Tory yeah. spot. Yeah. Uh, I mean the sun spot. Was uh, the Truth Lounge? The, the the hookah set? Yeah, it's a hookah up there. They used to be the, okay. Paul Paul Pierce used to own that joint. Paul Pierce used to own yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It looked it look like yeah, was cocaine was. Oh, there. It, look, it, it it fits the symptoms. It has yeah. the symptoms. <laughs> See why he gave that shit away. <laughs> yeah. It, it was a, so Keetra hit me up randomly. Hey, you want to do rooftop comedy? I was like, yeah, okay. This is what my problem is, man. Motherfuckers be keep having me want to close out these shows out here. I'm Long like, ass shows. Yeah, and I'm like, nigga, cut the shit, man. I'm not that famous. Yeah. I'm not that funny. Cut the shit. <laughs> so just cut the shit. So I don't understand why people be trying to, hey, Justin, we go ahead, you close out the show. So I told Keith, I said, yo, I'll do it. I don't want to close out the show, but I'll do a guest. Spot. I just want to go up. I just want to go up. Yeah. Cool. I pull up. Now, mind you, I walk up to the place last night. I already said, Justin, you need to get your life together. Because as I'm walking, I said, I've been on CBS for six years. Yeah. And now I'm going to go do it. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk I had with myself. Before I walk it up the stairs, I said, I was on CBS for six years. Now I'm going to go do goddamn rooftop comedy. Yeah. I said, Justin, get your shit together. And now I started a podcast. So, fucking going up the steps. Yo, it's a fucking, my homeboy, Johnny Mitchell. White dude. White comedian. I know Johnny. Johnny, cool dude. Yeah. Before Cameron brought him up, Cameron was just like, yo, we got a funny white comedian because it's an all black room. <laughs> He says that he funny says white comedian. Yeah. Funny, yeah. Funny. yeah. Oh, well, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. <laughs> oh, you wasn't there. Yeah, I wasn't. He said, "Yo, funny white comedian." And Johnny looked at me. And said, "Man, I, it's Johnny tall. Johnny like six six or some shit." Yeah. Johnny like, man, I hate when he brings me up like this. Man, just say I'm a comedian. Man, don't say I'm a funny white comedian. He said that right before he went on stage. He told him, "Don't say I'm a funny white comedian." Yeah, but it, it was too late though. Oh, he, man. But he was like, "Man, I hate when he says this mm -hmm. shit." Okay. Johnny goes on stage. It's a it's a Mexican. Game, he black and Mexican game banger in the front, uh -huh. right? This nigga yeah. tatted up, face tats, arm tats, all this shit. Mm -hmm. Then it's a big black dude in the back. For whatever reason, the game banger must have said something, right? And Johnny, you know, being a comedian, was like, man, be quiet or whatever, right? Mm. I'm like, this. Ain't well, you gotta digress. 
Because he had it. That's when I walked in. I, I must have walked in right when he went up. But the black dude, I walked to the back, and the black dude just immediately, Jenny, I think, might have got, what, three or four sentences out? Right. And the black dude was like, man, shut the fuck up before I throw your ass on this balcony. Oh, that, 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 that'll stop my show. <laughs> yeah, bro, he was, exactly. And, and this is what I told him. After, okay, so let me finish it. Now I'm going to tell you, yeah. that is exactly correct. Nigga, the show's over. Right. When somebody threatened to throw you over the balcony like Vanilla Ice, that's that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's he got to paint the picture. Sunset Rooftop got a balcony that goes around the whole damn venue, basically. So that could be any any yeah. window, any angle, be, <laughs> any angle. The balcony's yeah. there. And the black dude, Johnny. Just keep in mind, Johnny is tall. Like, Johnny's not a small guy. Tall. He's a big he's, dude, big he's white dude. Yeah. He's skinny though. Yeah. He's skinny though. So this dude, the black dude, is probably like five ten, five eleven, but he husky. So mm. and he got like the two braids. He got the prison braids. So it looked like it looked like it looked like that dream yes, could have came true. Right. Yeah, these this is for business. This is for killing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when you got, it's like the mullet of niggas, the nigga mullet. You feel me? When you when I see them braids to the side, the I fucking I step aside. You feel me? The nigga mullet. That's a t-shirt. So the dude got the braid. So so Cam, I'm like Cam, Cam, get like get so. I mean, Johnny, the odds are stacked against him mm. before he starts. Because you got the black dude already have me shut the... And, the, and then I didn't even notice the, the cholo. Wait, was there security there? No. I wanna, no security. No security. It was oh. supposed to be. Cause I talked and he was him. introduced as a white comedian. So even if there was an angry blind nigga in there. Yeah. Like, no, wait, who wants a motherfucking problem in this bitch? You know? That's so he, the dude, <laughs> the guy is heckling. So I'm like, Cam, and Cam, Cameron... Which who's got got Tory's son? Cam, he ain't no he ain't no small dude. Okay. He's he like, pretty big. He about he about your like your stature. Buff. Yeah. He buff. Yeah. Buff. Yeah. And in she, great she, shape. She just said your stature, nigga. Yeah, in great shape. You, you throw it. Okay, I got it. Now I understand what you're saying. I didn't get it at first. Now I get it. I, I convinced him. No, no, I just said your stature. Arnold Schwarzenegger, eighty-seven. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, me and Justin to put yeah, it all. Got it, got it, kind of like it, a DC yeah, Irving yeah. statue. Now, yeah. I, now I see the yeah, pictures that's, painted. That's what I say. It goes from DC Irving yeah. to uh, what's what's the what's the dude that uh, who who do all the internet stuff? Uh, you know, Game of Thrones. No, he who? do all the internet. The big dude who do all the. Oh, John Day. Big John. No, the dude who used to play football, professional football. Oh, Spice Adams. Spice Adams. Oh, Spice Adams. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering who the fuck Spice Adams. Bruh, I he swear a, to God, he's a bear, right? Okay, I swear to you. Literally Sunday, I'm washing dishes. I said, "Who the fuck is Spice Adams?" <laughs> <laughs> that came into my mind, bro. Why? Said, why? Why? I was just like, I, I was just like, I hear the, the spice name. Rack was open. <laughs> 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 I had Samuel Adams right there. Who is Spice Adams? Bro, it was just a random because I hear the name, but he's one of the people. You know how Tiana Taylor was famous for a long time yeah. and niggas didn't know why she was famous? Right. So I felt like that about Spice Adams in the social media. Like, I hear the name, but I'm like, what does he do? Now I know. He was yeah. a football player. Because doesn't he do the shit with uh, Atheon? Yeah. yeah, he does. The, uh, they do the verses. He do, he, he, verses. Uh-huh. He, he, do, he do a lot. Okay, okay. He, he, he do Adams. a lot. He really... Yeah, he, he had his own little videos going before, yeah. like where he, he put on uh, tight clothes and workout stuff. Funny stuff. He was funny. Okay, shout out to Spice yeah. Adams. Yeah, that's I, I, don't, I, didn't, I don't know the name. Uh, shout out to Spice Adams. Salute, King. Yeah, get him on your show. Yeah, I would love to. I would yeah. love to have this nigga ignore my DMs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so wait a minute. So they threatened to hang Johnny over the, the big black dude in the back. Threatened to hang Johnny over the side of the balcony or throw him off like vanilla ice. That's what he literally said. <laughs> that shit. He did literally say. He that. literally said that. So then the big black dude get up and he start walking past Johnny and the black dude like, "What you scared?" And Johnny like, "Uh, yes, motherfucker. You just threatened to throw me over the fucking balcony." Yeah. That's, so now everybody laughing. So. Sidebar, I want you to know why the black dude said that. Why? <laughs> I, I, was, I was like, Kim, get this nigga. Like, shut him up. I was, I was like, look. So I was with the black dude that can't. I mean, he's still going. I see, I see you Kim, talking to him. So I was like, what's wrong? Bro? So I was like, what's wrong? Bro? I was like, listen, you do stuff like that as a comedian, you scare us. That puts fear in us. So he's probably scared. You see him up there being nervous. He was like, that nigga do look scared. And then I was like, why did I do that? What, what did I do? This is how simple his mind was that he went from, yeah, this nigga scared of me to, yeah, I'm going to go see if that nigga really scared of me. Oh, oh snap. okay. That's why he did that shit. Yeah. I didn't even know that it would do that. I was just trying to, you know, stroke his ego. You made the matter, the, the, the thing worse. I know. <laughs> I, I realized that. I realized that. I was like, no, don't get up. Don't get up. <laughs> so so he, he got up. He did fuck with John. He went on out and exited. You know, the big black dude. Yeah. But it was still this Mexican black gangbanger. And he called Johnny a nigga. 
and John was like, I like it when people call me the N word, you know, or some shit. Oh, shit. And so now these motherfuckers are like really fucking pissed off. Oh, that and the black dude was still there at this point, actually. Yeah. And the black dude was like, yo, don't fucking play with me, bro. And so Johnny's still on some like well, whatever, whatever. So the black dude leave. Okay. This is when Wait, she, why did he have to deal with the other guy? What was the beef with the other exactly, guy? Exactly. No reason, bro. I don't know why they was fucking with this dude, bro. It was like just gang saw, gang, saw, gang communication. Gang communication, bro. I saw Mission the Cholo was a Justin Hires type. That's right. You mean size wise? Yes. He has, he was a Justin Hires bill. But he but he was a little bit like a little chubbier <laughs> in the stomach area. Okay. <laughs> and I thought he was a little smaller to be to yeah. be honest. But but this nigga's a thug. This nigga, real deal, like tax, all this yeah, shit, right? Yeah. So, okay. The dude say, all right, bro. Uh, I'm finna, the dude called him a nigga or whatever, Johnny trying to talk about it, whatever, whatever, okay, okay. Then, Johnny says, I'm more of a G than you. He says this to the game. Oh, maker. come on, He Johnny. says, I'm more of a G than you because I was in prison for two years. The game banger said, nigga, if you was in prison for two years, you did some gay shit. You got that butthole bust wide open. Oh, snap. <laughs> said, with a punchline. With a punchline. Nah, nah, he was like, nigga, some gay shit happened. This is why he's on stage still. This is Johnny still on stage. Oh, Wait, was Johnny, Johnny really did some time? I guess so. Oh, he okay. said it. Or you know, you know, niggas be lying when they on stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, hey, you know, my motherfuckers be lying and yeah, bigger. Yeah, that was that fear coming. Right. <laughs> Not, nothing will make somebody talk more shit than being on stage with a microphone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you get power, superpowers. Superpower. Yeah. You feel like an extra bravado. I too. shoot you with I'm this gun. I don't got, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. I kill everyone in here. I've literally said that on stage, yeah. nigga. I shoot, I shoot me a nigga today. What? Nigga, I, I, I was in the belly room one time, and I said, "So I, said, I shoot every nigga in this motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> I don't own a gun, but right. I said it. You know, okay, I'm, okay, so okay, all right. So he said, Johnny said, bro, I don't spend more time in prison than you. Johnny said, well, nigga, you must be a snitch if you, because exactly. So the game bank, exactly. The game banker was like, yo, you did some gay shit if you got out. If you, I mean, if you spent two years in prison, you must have did some gay shit while you was in there. Johnny was like, well, nigga, you must have snitched. That's why you got out. That's why you never went to prison, because you must have snitched. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, that's a no-no to a real gangster. Woo, boy. When he said that, I said, it's a wrap. Nigga, it's a rap, bro. Right. The dude basically rushed the stage. Luckily, Johnny Tall, so they was kind of going back and forth. Oh, they got down. Oh, they got oh. down. Yeah, they fucking uh, fell out the stage. Real... Where were you? Whoa. I was in the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> she talking to the big nigga still. I was, talking, she I was, was like, like uh -huh. I was in, no, I was in the back like, uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, so who was getting the better of each other? It was equal. Wait. Ah. I couldn't believe Johnny could get him because I was like, Johnny, you should be able to flip this guy. Well, this is what it was. Johnny was on top at first, and then somehow this little rascal. No, no, it got no, it got deep because it was fun. Y'all know how Sunset Rooftop made, so the stage is right there. They went, it got to the VIP area. Oh, so they snap. busted through the how, door and yeah. fell into the green room That's area. How the people look. Yo, what's the Mortal Kombat, Wait. yo? When you, you know when you break through the different rooms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, they, 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 going through, the they were going through rooms. Yeah. <laughs> well, all I know is I saw Justin be like, and then I did see him. And she's, then on, I, she's on half the story. Right, right, right. This is what happened for real, for real. The, the game banger, and he and I'm calling him a game banger because he called himself a game banger. Right. <laughs> this nigga said, not because you want smoke. No, because that's because I want. He said, I'm a game banger. He literally, these are words that came out of his mouth. Your, your business card is printed on your face. <laughs> right. <laughs> the <laughs> website. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the Mike Tyson <laughs> yeah. tattoo. So, okay. The game banger was on top of Johnny at this point. Uh -huh. I said, man, goddamn, I just talked to Johnny. I said, let me try to pull this game, oh, this man. thug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the let me try to pull this thug. Oh, so you were, were going to help. So I tried, I tried it. So I went over and I grabbed him. This little nigga was strong. You could tell he did time. You lift weight. I said, I don't know if he got a gun. I said, my family in town, my wife and daughter, I ain't trying to get shot. Right. I said, luckily Cameron then came over, DC build. Yeah. He came over and started. I said, you know what? This baby's what, six? I backed up. I said, that's when you're standing like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. Yeah, huh? Thank you. Gumbo, y'all know Gumbo? Y'all know Christian, the comedian? I went yeah. to college with him. Yeah. He came over. He was there and then he, he, put, he got to the game. Base. He was like, man, it's all good. Just chill out. And so now the game bag was like, don't call me a snitch. He was talking to Cameron now. He was drunk and got confused. So now he thought Cameron. <laughs> he was like, oh, he was, just, he was on one. He was on one. He was like, don't call me a snitch. Don't call me a snitch. And so they finally broke it up. We went in the green room. I went in the green room. I locked the door. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? With Johnny with you? With Johnny. Yeah. You know, luckily it was a dog. Now, let me tell you the, the, the importance of a good dog. It was a dog in the green room. Prior to the show, we was talking That's a lot of random shit tonight. Not <laughs> tonight. <laughs> yeah, you're making it. And this one for a, real. Tell me the real it part. A, it was a parrot no, sitting in the no, corner. No, this was real. This was real. There was a dog in Who's the Who's dog, man? We don't know to this day, nigga. <laughs> we have no idea who dog it was, bro. Cause I like, roll me down, I get it. Hate that I keep winning. Stab my back, is tempting. To all those who willing. The ones think I'm privileged. Hard work winning into this. Long
lost friends. God bless. Cut hoes off too much stress.